<laughs> oh! <laughs> Did I get you? You got me twice. <laughs> oh no. You got me in the stomach. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, welcome back, Jay. The 21 foot rule. Do you know you know what the 21 foot rule is? Yep. What is the 21 foot rule? It's that you can, it's something about like you can, the way you can like, sh you can shoot someone as they close, <laughs> like if they're farther than 21 feet. Have you ever had a dream that you're not gonna have time to pull your weapon. Is closer than 21? Technically, yeah. So you're wrong, that's not the 21 foot rule because there's no such thing as the 21 foot rule. The 21 foot rule does not exist. The 21 foot rule is extremely misunderstood. It comes from something called the Tuller drill. I'm gonna explain what that is, how it relates to self-defense, and no, you can't just shoot somebody because they're 21 feet away from you with a weapon. Give me a light jog down to the, down to the light pole and back uh, three times. You gotta get warmed up. I don't want y'all blowing a hammy. We're gonna talk about this from the perspective of maybe like a law enforcement officer, but also a concealed carry, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Vetter Holsters. I've been carrying my Glock 43X in this Vetter holster. It's like a hybrid style holster. They have different colors and patterns. Having this leather back behind it is a lot more comfortable than what I've been using, I found out. And I needed a paddle holster for this demo and they also, they also do outside the waistband holsters and they're very minimalist and they're very comfortable. And this paddle is a lot smaller than the old one I used to have. And I like it a lot. I'm also wearing the Vetter Cobra quick release belt, which has like features similar to a gun belt, but it's small enough that you can actually put it through your belt loops like a regular belt. Come on, no, 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 a couple more laps. No, I gotta do this ad read. This is, uh, this is the holster that I've been using now. Okay. And they got lots of different colors and stuff too, but. Of course you got the. Yeah, I mean, I had to, it's like, yeah. Kristen asked me like, why why do you get colors and designs on your holsters? I'm like, why do you wear colorful underwear? You yeah. know what I mean? Let me have what some mean? flavor. It's a studio color. Right? But the, the back is leather yeah. and the front is the Kydex. Kydex yeah. yeah, so it's a lot more comfortable. This is, this is way more comfortable against, and it still works. You can still reholster. It doesn't collapse like one that's all leather. Yeah. This is a dry run. I just want to see. Oof. Here. You, like you just want me to? Just run up and whack me with it. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Since you're shooting? I'm not really shooting yet. Oh. I'm going to shoot here in a second. Shit. I'm going to see. Like, this is me totally ready. As soon as he starts running, I draw. Bang, 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 bang. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, 31, you definitely got me there. Yeah. Uh, Nate, you're a little faster than him, right? A little bit. You're behind the phone, yeah. Yeah, uh -oh. no cheating. So I'll be like this, and when you say go, no your whole face life. is dark. Go. <laughs> but you know what the problem is? It, his, he has momentum. It's a he's a 200 pound man running at me with a tomahawk. Yeah. <laughs> like you're not guaranteed to put to to get quality shots on him, and I don't actually know if I'm hitting him. Yeah. So we need to make sure that we know we're actually hitting. The big problem with this whole exercise is like I know it's coming. Like, so we're gonna have to try to think of a way, you guys start trying to think of a way that we can make this like harder on the shooter. Right. I would say I'm an intermediate shooter. Tyler, do you shoot them all? You guns and all? Maybe have Tyler do it. I bet I could get Tyler. Okay, so now what are you doing? Are you just gonna be standing looking at me or are you gonna do like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll start like, we'll do one just straight up. I'm ready, he's ready, he's got a machete. And uh, as soon as you start running, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I flubbed the draw. I flubbed clearing my that's, cover yeah, garment. That's good. what's gonna happen sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah people yeah, don't yeah. know. They don't know that they didn't practice this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then my feet got stuck. All right, I'm ready for real this time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did I get you? You got me twice. <laughs> you got me in the stomach. Oh god, yeah. But he's well, a big that guy. Way. That wouldn't stopped him though. All right, Nate, you're up. All right. <laughs> 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 he got me. So, what'd you get? One or two? He didn't actually try to get me. As soon as he saw the gun, he did a, he did a, <laughs> yeah. like a little like a little yeah. a little elfin hop. All right, it's not okay. <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready. Yeah, baby. Ah, oh, damn. I was never mind. You, you gotta, gotta get, get me. You gotta get me. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. If you hit me first, I won't shoot. All right. <laughs> nah, I got hit in the hip that time. Yeah. I mean, I think. Where I get you? Right uh, little oh. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I think it's going to be sufficiently easier with like uh, 
open carry type situation. Oh yeah. yeah. I think it'd be I mean, a lot well, easier. Here's the problem. There's no real scenario where there's a bad guy this far away. Go ahead, go over there. We were saying this far away. <laughs> the 21 feet All right. with a weapon going wooga booga. Look, he's holding it backwards. That's backwards. Uh, yeah, because I want that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm holding it backwards. He's not gonna be like, wooga booga, I'm a bad guy. And there's not some magical barrier where it's like, oh, if he's, if he's that far away, I know that I could get him so I wouldn't already be drawn down on him. Like, if you are carrying a weapon and there is a guy with a war hammer acting like a guy with a war hammer, you should already be like out and covering him. And See, then if, if I just, I'm, but I, I also feel like, like, you know, we're, we're running right at you. I'm not gonna be running. If I see that you pulling that, I'm not running. I'm gonna be like he. Not the weird jump. You're a did, psycho but. with a war hammer, dude. This isn't gonna stop you. A pistol? Do you know how many dudes I've had walk at me? And you've seen this in the videos where they're like, "Shoot me! Oh, Shoot yeah. me!" Yeah, that. Yeah, we're talking about psychos. We're talking about criminals. We're talking about violent attackers. What we're actually talking about is a reactionary gap. That's what this is called. That's like the 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 term for it. And there's a lot of misconception. People think, oh, if you draw it, you have to use it. That's not, that's not correct. No. You can be justified in drawing and using and then decide not to. You're, you're, you're allowed to not shoot people that you're justified <laughs> yeah. in shooting. If it seems prudent, morally, legally, and tactically. You're allowed to change your mind. Yeah, you are allowed to change your mind as, as the circumstances develop. So it's much more likely that he's gonna be caught unawares. You guys are gonna yell, look out when I start running. Okay. Yeah. And then he's got to find me and shoot me. I was going to be talking about these bagels because they were pretty good, though. Go! Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm being a pecker. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got in the car. Oh, <laughs> small target and you hit it, bro. Oh, right in the tip. <laughs> yeah, you hit, me in, you hit me in my hand. Oh, my God. That's karma, though, because I for sure was trying to shoot you in the tip. Yeah. He told me before he went like that to you. Oh. <laughs> and there's no guarantee that the, any rounds are going to stop. Yeah. You know, there's dudes that get shot. We've seen people eat bullets and not be Yeah, shot. there's dudes that get shot 15 times and keep coming forward. There's dudes that get Yo. shot once and drop right there. There's no guarantee you're going to hit them either. Crack is a hell <laughs> yeah. of a drug, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Uh, so how can we make this a little better? <laughs> oh, <got me> good. <laughs> Look at the same spot before. So let's like let's see what the let's see what the distance is. Let's push the the, the limits of the distance. Let's come in to 15 feet. I don't worry about my nuts. <laughs> I didn't know he was going first. Trying to time. get that back. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> in the face. Oh, in the face. In the face. <laughs> oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, man. You ducked your head. You did, you pulled the Kristen right there. You all right? I'm man. sorry. No, is it cut? That's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's open. Ah, oh, fuck, man. You're good. It's beautiful. You look like Nelly. No, I'm worried about the fight. I'm not trying no. to get. Oh, cut no, no, you're gonna be no, fine by it. It's a, it's a it's a BB not hole. Cut like that. Good luck. Like getting cut. It's like a pistol. You can get bro. cut under it's your like eye. A bad you can't hey, get hey, under hey, hey, hey! All y'all shut the fuck up. <laughs> How many y'all bitches got hit in the face? <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. yeah, you know they're coming. The problem is you won't really know they're coming. No. You're gonna be acting from a deficit. You're likely gonna have to move your feet, which I did on Nate just then, yeah. and you're likely gonna have to probably tangle with them. You're probably they're gonna be closing, <laughs> and you're gonna have to like fight with them to get to your weapon. I didn't expect you to move. I don't know why. I just thought you'd stay still. I don't, I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, we figured was... out that that's not a good yeah, idea. I don't. Oh, dang. Still pretty, though. Onigashimasu. Oh, that's so crazy. They said that in Lord Tashima. Hey, no! <laughs> 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 Did I get you? I mean, I lost my. I don't know. I think you hit me. That was <laughs> definitely. That's definitely harder. Let me try that one. 15 feet is. He, he's up on you. And, yeah. Well. Yeah, my bad. Fuck you, man. Oh! Got him? Get him back. <laughs> 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 uh, so like that it. would probably be a. Ow! <laughs> That's a kill shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got me right there. Yeah. That's, that would probably be a disabling. Yeah. 
shot. Like, like the facial? Even 15 feet, yeah. you're likely to get rounds on target but if you're ready like, yeah. and you don't flub the draw yeah. and you move your feet. If, if, if. <laughs> yeah. Just because someone is 30 feet away and you know that, know that you could probably get your gun out in time, yeah. that doesn't mean it's not justified to shoot them. There are circumstances if I have tried to kill Jay with this samurai sword and then you ran 30 feet away. All right. And then I said, I'm going to kill you. And then started walking slowly over there. Boom. Boom. He would be legally justified. Oh, you don't have a gun? No. Whew. Glad that went that way. He would be legally justified. <laughs> I got <you> back, Jay. <laughs> he would be legally justified at that point in shooting given those circumstances. And as long as there's not anything else I don't know about. Yeah. But right. Just because someone is closer than 21 feet and has the ability to harm you doesn't make it a justified shooting. Just because uh, someone is more than 30 feet away doesn't make it not a justified shooting. There are other factors. What they've said, what they've done, what you know about them, your physical state, well, their don't, physical you, state. Don't you have to prove that you're in imminent danger before? Right, but and it's not just how close they are and they have a weapon. Yeah. Remy with a box cutter, yeah. 10 no feet away is not a threat. A stud like me with a samurai sword 50 feet away is obviously very dangerous to you. Yeah, I'm taking you out. Yeah. <laughs> 54, 49 feet away. 49 feet away, 49 yeah. Feet away. So there's more that goes into it. So anytime you hear someone talk about the 21 foot rule, that's a good, easy, quick way to dismiss everything else that they say about the subject. Yeah. You, they've instantly communicated to you that they don't know anything about the subject. There's more to it than that. Uh, what's between you? If someone's 21 feet away and there's a truck between you and they got to go around that truck, that adds time. So yep. you could possibly get away or... You could, yeah, you could like or you run could, or move or, yeah. or do the old... Uh, or you could prepare yourself. The thing you do with the kids around the coffee table. Yeah. You know, that yeah. sort of dance. Yeah, yeah. You know, while you're deciding, does he have a stick? Does he have a sword? Does he have a knife? Is he 10 feet tall? Is he shorter than me or smaller than me or weaker than me? But what we definitely did see is that drawing the gun without a lot of practice is difficult drawing the gun when we didn't have a good holster because my airsoft gun waist. <laughs> yeah my airsoft gun didn't fit in this holster uh, a good holster is important and practice with it is important make sure you go check out our sponsor for this video vetter holsters link is in the description below they have in waistband out of the waistband belts they're a great company the shipping was fast uh, it was a painless process and they have cool custom colors awesome. but if you want more fitness tips self-defense techniques gear reviews as well as concepts and principles to make you hard to hurt make sure you subscribe and turn on a what do you think about the whole situation what do situation any, do you have any thoughts on it like that what situation well that in general like do i have any thoughts on the what whole, the whole 15 feet thing or the whole 20 feet it's 21 21 yeah why is that a rule? What are my thoughts is that a, on it? Is that an actual rule though? 21 feet? No, it's not a rule. It's saying that they think that, what is it you can... I'm no, to... it's not. And my thoughts are everything <laughs> that we just did. You... What is this guy talking about? <laughs> but like, that's not a rule? That's not, that's not... That's something. not...